So before we get too far, this is episode 190. Dude, if I weighed 190, I'd probably be happier than you've ever seen me before. If I weighed 190, I would be a little happier than I am now. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Ah, okay. All right. Oh, All right. great and, way to and, start the morning. And the with day low self-esteem. No. There we go. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Carlos and Sandy Lee. Thank you so much for listening. We couldn't do this without the support of Ondium. It's a national on-demand staffing platform for dental professionals. You can earn PTO, you can get medical benefits, and you don't have to mess with those crazy 1099s. So check out Ondium in our link below. So What's today? The 13th? 813? Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, tomorrow is. is, right? Is it your birthday? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yay, I win. <laughs> yes. And yeah. you're going to be 53? Three. Yeah. Yes. Because I know we're like 10 years apart. Almost yeah. exactly. Yeah. How I, come you didn't? How come you didn't come to the hospital when I was born? I think that's kind of bull crap. You know, actually, I, I, I didn't have my license. I was a little young. Uh, I don't. You had a bike. No, you're somebody stole it. Um. All right, fine. You get a pass. And I, you know, I was several states away. And, and the thing is, when we were kids, you could hop on a bike and I, I would go over two or three towns. Like half the time, I wouldn't know where I was at, you know? Wow. Yeah, we used to. That's because like everything's all smushed together, right? Yeah, like you could just stay on a sidewalk, cross the street, stay on a sidewalk, cross the street. Next thing you know, you're four or five miles away, and in another county, shit was crazy. You know, <laughs> uh, it's, it's adventurous. Like kids don't do that these days. I would I don't feel die like... today. I think if I try to get my fat ass on a bicycle and pedal. Well, that's why you have a car through those hills and, you know, and stuff we used to do. And we would go, yeah. you know, and some of my friends had 10 speeds, you know, um, this was before you go, mountain click, bikes, click, I think. Click. I think my buddy had um, a, a three speed kind of like a huffy thing. And I, I, yeah. I don't know what it was. So it had like a low, medium and high. So yeah. so that was probably ideal. And then let's be honest. Let's be honest here, everybody, everybody that had a 10 speed. If you're younger and yet you don't know what that is, then the same for you. But you wrote, have you ever ridden one? Yes, my friend had one. I had like the little huffy type. Um, like I, I had a boy's bike because I liked neon green. green. And for some reason, Turtles girls' bikes didn't come in neon green. So I had a little like, you know, with the rough like a tires. Dirt bike, we my, called them back then, right? With little yeah, knobby tires and, and stuff. Yes. And my friend had a beautiful pink. 10 speed with the curled handlebars and I got on it once it was just too tall for me she was a lot taller than me so it it I got on it and I was like I felt like I was gonna fall off so yeah yeah it's it's once you're on it and moving it's good yeah there's certain motorcycles that are are low and kind of close to the ground I like yeah. to be able to put both my feet on the on the ground you yeah know? oh yeah you know I, kinda, I like the flat like just a Harley for stability yeah there's certain bikes that are kind of low and they're 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 easier. Some of the dirt bikes, the ones that are made to to like go on tracks and mud and, and stuff. stuff. I don't know about flips. I, I ain't doing no flips, but they're <laughs> super tall, so you got to stand on one leg kind of thing. Like oh, I got short yeah, okay. legs, and it's just yeah. it's just it's an and then if you get too much momentum going one way, and they weigh four or five hundred pounds, you know, you so you got to be real careful. It's it's just unstable. I don't think but, I can do that. I, get I mean, the tall I, thing. I could do that, but would I want to? No. no. Yeah, I would have to get off the 10 speed and straddle that center bar. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I you know, the girls, it dips down a little bit. So oh, their yeah, skirt, yeah, yeah. because back in the day, you're supposed to wear skirts. It could flow over the seat so you didn't see their underwear or something. But no. for boys, which is, I never understood that. Why opposite. do the guys have the straight thing? So if they like hit a bump and fall off the seat, they're ah, it's like ah. <laughs> if you can't see like, that, guys, on the video, you need to go to YouTube, oh, and that's exactly what happens God. on a ten-speed bike for boys. Like ah, dude, I I can't tell how many times we all busted our asses on those things, bro. Jumping ramps, 
a Ugh. piece of plywood and a cinder block. Yeah. Let's see who can get the highest. Yeah. Who, who can yeah. who can knock out the most teeth? Let's go. You know. What <laughs> I, mean? I hit I hit a curb once. Oh. I was like. I was like flipping my head back because my hair was like all crazy. And when I did, I like must have pulled the handlebars. I hit a curb, flipped over the front of the bike. Mm. Man, I skinned my knee up. I to probably took off like 45 layers of skin off my knee. I had a scar for a, a few years. You and I was like you were riding my bike home crying, but blood down your leg you know oh yeah yeah i didn't I tell my s- parents i just went and cleaned myself up and oh and it stings and it hurts i um I, I used to get scabbed up all the time and it wasn't a big deal it was kind of fun you know what i mean yeah but like I remember, war wounds you know i talk about the time i fell off my my son's bike right yes dude i've never honestly i don't ever remember it hurting that bad like the scabs and stuff like like the the raw right. skin, the road rash. Yes, Sandy, that hurt. Every nerve was on fire. Dude. I think when you're a kid, you're just like a little oh slightly God. invincible. You and know, you run into walls and you bounce off and you cry for a second and then you boom, you keep flip going. down the stairs, tumble over yourself. <laughs> Dude, I I skin myself alive and it hurts so bad. And 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 I think I don't know if as an adult if things hurt worse. Now, I don't know if I have a nerve condition. I don't know what it is, but everything <laughs> hurts so much worse nowadays. And uh, <laughs> it's a stupid problem to have. But uh, yeah, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm turning I'm turning big 53 tomorrow, which sounds yeah. kind of old, you know, but not really because I don't feel it. So I don't know what the hell. You yeah, know what I, mean? I feel like the older you get, the less you feel like whatever age is old. Like when I was a kid, 40, uh, that's, that's old. Right. And now that I'm 40, Two, almost forty-three. I'm like, that's nothing. Eighty, that's old. <laughs> I know, right? But then I think about it. My dad's turning eighty soon. Yeah, and and he's still clowning Kicking around, it. talking trash, just being a you know, being a jackass and a, uh, a quality citizen. <laughs> he's yeah, he's he's a funny dude, man. Pops is uh, you know, I'm glad yeah. I still got him. But um I, I and you know, I got the best present ever. Um I had mm-hmm. another grandbaby born on Monday. Nice. And uh yes. little girl. And I, yeah, I'm gonna keep the name oh, and all that private because we're a little private. Carlos. So I got to hold Good her luck. With, within hours of her being born and yeah. that was one of the coolest things ever you know what i'm saying good luck buddy yeah with a girl yeah. oh no no i'm screwed i know yes. i'm in trouble you might as well just the white flag Psh, yeah. done and um, done <sighs> so Sorry, i show Carlos. up to the hospital <laughs> with a bunch of gifts and stuff and uh mm-hmm. you know and i kept it together pretty pretty much you know what i mean but yeah, uh, you can cry it's all right and, and she just kind of held you know just slept in my arms and i was like man this is this is kind of cool i forgot how, how small they are when they're when they're brand yes. new yes uh. and um and then yesterday uh well the day before my daughter's like hey man i gotta you know i had I, she had to have carpal tunnel stuff done she oh had a yeah because oh. right? her hand was killing her and yeah. it was already scheduled and the baby came early, so she was supposed to be done with the procedure before the baby came. You know what I mean? Oh, like, so so she had the baby and then went into surgery same day? No, like we went yesterday for the hand. Oh, and then the baby was born Monday and then, and then yesterday Friday, Friday. She's getting her carpal tunnel done. So she's oh. all I mean she, and I figure, well, you know, while you're hurting, you might as well just go ahead and get it all done you know what i'm saying and uh Ugh. um so yeah so yeah she's in rough shape right now um but you know but she's happy you know she'll and, heal uh, up it'll, it'll be all right but it was cool because she goes hey wow. man um can you uh can you take me to the the hand thing and i'm like yeah yeah and then uh You're like i'm dead i'm dead of course of course she, she can't drive herself because she needed a driver in case they had to sedate her dad's well and baby. she's got one arm like <laughs> And, and the other baby, you know what I mean? And, you know, the two-year-old and a half. Like, so she, she's she got her hands full, you know? Yeah, and, um, literally. But, yeah. So she's got some some female friends on, on his side coming over, on dad's side yeah. coming over to, to help. Good. So, uh, you know, or family members. And, and so uh, she's bottom line is, uh, yeah, so now I'm up to three. And 
did I tell you I was thinking about getting another tattoo, but I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah. I, I couldn't I could not remember. I couldn't figure out what I kind of wanted to get. Right. So I kind of want to get something that has, that looks like, you know, like grandbabies. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like two, you know, their names or something. You know what I mean? Okay. Or, I was going to oh, say their faces and then it'll end up like your tooth tattoo. No, 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 no. no. I wouldn't do, I don't, oh, I, I'm, you I'm know done what you with should portraits. Do? I'm done with portraits. Cause I, this is you know horrible. What you, should <laughs> you should get a mouth and then have like teeth. And then each grandkid, you put their name in, in a tooth. <laughs> I, I hope it's just three for a while, man. You know what I mean? And uh, but uh, oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I I, I, I gotta <coughs> think about it. And um, <coughs> that idea I got you. I swear, I can't. It's like I'm a child. Like I can't drink things without inhaling. You know what the worst <sighs> thing is being on a plane and um and having a little coughing frenzy because you're during COVID ish. Yeah, because you don't know how to swallow. You know what always gets me? What always chokes me to death? And I get a, I order them every flipping time. Tiramisu. Office fans will get that. <laughs> um. Like, you know, you want almonds, we got a, a cookie, and we got, a, like, a granola bar. I'm like, let me get almonds, please. Why do I get almonds? They have those little flaky skins Ugh. that get stuck in the back of my dry throat, and I cough for 20 minutes, and then mm. everybody around me is like, hey, this guy's got anthrax. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and COVID. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what do you order on a plane? Do you, did... Order? Yeah, not order, but I'm saying, do, do, do they offer you snacks, or... What, they what's throw your they throw a little little tiny little bag of snack mix at us. Ugh, here, go. take that. I um I fly Southwest and uh, yeah, I have not been on a plane ride that gave us a meal since like 2002. I I don't even know. They don't do meals anymore, do they? Oh, I have no idea. Like, dude, I've been to the Southwest. West Coast you don't really times. get a choice except for your drink, and I always get like cran apple or cran something juice because I like it. Yeah, I know cranberry stuff is good. No, like, I don't, I don't think they do meals unless you you're in first class or you order it or something. And but then again, I'm just yeah. guessing because I don't know what first class is like except for that quick jump I had uh, a couple yeah. months ago. At least you had that. You, you, the last time I went to you know Vegas, they had. I don't know. I think they went through like two or three times with with the basic, you know, you want half a cup of something. soda and, and some, some some almonds or a cookie or something like that. Here's the thing. You don't want 250 people eating a big meal on a little ass airplane. You know what I mean? With those little baby toilets that they have in there. You that's know? true. That's, that's true. A, that's my, my logic. You know what I mean? Let's that's not probably why they stuff, don't. You know? I, I bet you're right. Yeah. But we had a flight. Uh, I went to Israel in 2002, and it's a you know overnight flight. It's uh, 12 hours, I think it was. So they had uh, meals. I don't remember anything about it, like what we had or anything. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, I've never been to Europe, though. I want to go. Yeah, Israel. I would go back in a heartbeat. It was it was amazing. Uh, my friend, my uh, pediatric dentist friend, she just got back from Greece. Mm. Uh, they went for a little vacation out there and you know, she told me mm. they don't have air conditioning. What? Yeah. She said that the airport, not air conditioned. And I said, well, what was the temperature? She said like 90. And I was like, go, 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 go. What? I, there's no way. And then she stayed in this, uh, Airbnb that, um, like they I'm, were I'm miserable just uh, thinking about it, bro. I know I'm sweating already. Um, the cliff houses, like they're built into the stone. I think she said, I think that's what she meant, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there were just houses built into anyway. She said that they didn't have AC there either. And I'm just like, Do can you, you like imagine ocean breeze or I mean, how does that work? I, well, I, I think it was close to the ocean. So they probably did have a nice breeze there, but the airport, the airport, like oh, you're breeze. lugging around luggage, like, the airport um 
and if I had had a hot flash, I would have spontaneously combusted. There's no way. Like, I would have lived through that. Yeah. Or you sit there just sweating. And you look suspicious. You're like, all right, this chick's carrying a problem. Right. We got to. Ma'am, step this way, please. Um, um, you have Greece, been randomly selected. <laughs> yeah, I used to get that all the time when I was younger. Now they don't they don't care. Like this old fat guy limping around. He's not bothering nobody. <laughs> what if you're strapped with all these weapons? I carry a backpack. Jesus, I, I this this is why my TSA is taking forever because they listen to this podcast. Oh, um, whoops. The um <laughs> Uh, just real quick, speaking of Greece, uh, Olivia Newton-John passed. Oh, I did. I heard that. I heard no. that. Mm. Okay, yeah, that, that took a Rough. that took a dark turn for a second, you know. And uh, I feel like that's all, how we do. We kind of, you know, but it, we like to roller coaster it, you know, because that's that's reality and that's life. Yeah. Um, it's it's filled with ups and downs, and um, yeah. And and that's why we do what we do is because life is too heavy sometimes. You know, I hope I go quietly in a long time, a long, long, long time from now. You know. What I'm yes. Saying? Yes. <laughs> I'm the same way. I I think I've said this before, but you know, I just want to do like in the notebook. John and I crawl into bed one night. We, you know, we're like 95 or 100, whatever, and we just go in our sleep together. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. No. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. Are are you a couple years older? Is that is that fair to him? What are you talking about? I'm just saying, if you're 95 and ready, and he's 83, that's not fair. <laughs> I guess it's a little conceited, but I I I have always thought that um, you know I would handle him going a little bit better than he would handle me going um, more emotionally than anything else. Like I feel like. Uh, I just can't, it breaks my heart to think about him being lonely or something. You know what I mean? So I would rather him go and me have to deal with it than the other way around, if that makes sense. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, I never thought about the sequence of it. Um, yeah, because you're but, supposed uh, to go together at the exact same time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'm about to go, I'm slipping something in his drink. Sorry, buddy. Take him with you. <laughs> I have it all planned out. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and it's weird because you know both my parents lost their 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 spouses, and uh, yeah, you know they should get think, married again. You know, I you know because because they were married to each other, you know, a long long time right. ago. And, yeah, uh, that's what I'm I, saying. I, th- I think my mom's out of the dating game, dude. She's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm done taking care of people. I'm like, pops is doing good. And she's like, Mm-mm, I'm done. I said, all you guys do is hang out and eat. Just, nah, nah, yeah, right. you literally like live in separate rooms and stuff. It's just you know, yeah, just somebody there in case you fall down the stairs or something. You know, so she'd rather be alone. Yeah. Would... <laughs> She's like, screw that, son. Damn it! What did he do? No, I'm you know, <laughs> and uh, that's hilarious. Uh, let's yeah. let's move on to a different topic that uh, includes life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we might have to cut some of that out, man. Jeez, you know. No, you can leave it because, you know, we're well-rounded. Yeah. So last night we had game night. Uh, I had my friend Jess and my friend Aaron and their spouses, Brian and Charlie, and their kids, Olivia, Peyton, and Tyler. Um, They got in the pool. They're splashing around, Mm. having a lot of fun. And that's kind of like what I envisioned for the pool at some point, you know. Um, I want life and energy and stuff like that. Uh, Because when John and I get in there, we kind of like meander around and then they're like jumping off the ladder and splashing onto the rafts and doing flips and all sorts of stuff, you know. Uh, But we did a TikTok because every time um, Peyton, um, Aaron's daughter, she comes around, she we did a TikTok a long time ago and it got like 1200 views and she got so excited about that. So um, when we get together, we try to do a TikTok. So we did that. fancy like uh dance challenge thing have you oh, seen yeah, that yeah yeah yeah. yeah. The, where it's like country song. uh with we trying- cream on top two two, two straws, straws. Yeah, 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 yeah. one thing uh, the guy <laughs> we're trying to do that for nashville uh just a, a behind the scenes story and the choreography we couldn't get it down because uh oh some, yeah. some of I- us like your boy have two left feet and uh and i just <laughs> 
I, you know, I didn't really want to do it, and uh, and so we just we just bailed on the idea. You know, did you? Oh, that would have yeah, been yeah. fun though. It would have been fun because people know it, and you know. Oh yeah, and, yeah. You know. I didn't know it. She had to like run me through the the moves and stuff. Um, she came up with the idea, but uh, this morning I posted it late last night, and this morning it had almost four hundred views, and I was like, wow. ah, she's gonna get so excited about it. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I gotta check it out because um. That sounds, that sounds cute, you know? Yeah. And I used to, you know, in lighthearted back when I was, um, you know, before all the tragedy in my life, uh, I used to post dance videos all the time. And one of them was the Elaine, uh, from Seinfeld, her dance. Oof. Uh, you gotta watch that video. Um, uh, it's in lighthearted. You just search the, uh, like Elaine dance or something like that okay. but in the video, John's in the background and he got more attention than me dancing because of his reaction it was it was like hilarious that's funny and that that's was funny. that was one of the first uh videos that they got to know john gotcha. and that's in the video that is john that is yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. john yes there's there's a lot of like you know social media stuff where you see it's either the husband being a you're trying to be funny or or the wife is like a, is dancing and doing something silly yeah and then the uh, the spouses in the back, like, what the are we doing this again? Yeah. You know, or some yeah. some guy's mom is yelling at him. This is dude. I I can't remember. I think he's Dominican. He's a, he's a Spanish dude, right? Yeah. And he gets into these crazy scenarios, and he's always yelling at his mom. And then they, they start speaking in Spanish, and she starts going off. And I'm like, yo, that reminds me of my mom. And then <laughs> she always winds up smacking him, and they always put like a big slap sound in it and yes. it's just funny because he's he's like this big dude and he's yeah. just ducking because she's just smacking the shit out of him and it's it's oh, it's a super weird. loud latino family and she's just going to work. mom's going putting in the work and the dude oh, is, yeah. is hilarious the dude is very very that funny that is awesome so that um, is awesome. very funny uh. i um <laughs> i reached out to a guy um mm -hmm. and I, I like how we switch topics i, I reached out yeah to we a, just uh, bam a guy. What's next? <laughs> Named Carlos Rodriguez, same name. He's a comedian yes. also on the West Coast. That I, that yes. I told you I was going to reach out to him, right? Yes. So I was sending him a message. I was like, hey, man, um, we don't know each other, but. Um, but apparently we're of, twins. I know <laughs> of you. And, uh, you know, I think it'd be awesome if we could work together somehow and just call it the Carlos, Carlos Squared. Rodriguez, you know, whatever. Yeah. Just, you know, we, we can we can make have fun with it, you know? Right. And I told him, I said, when I was going to Utah to do the, the dry bar, that I checked the website, and it was his photo on the flyer with my information. So I called him, and they changed it. He goes, oh, so you're the guy. He goes, oh, I was yeah. in D.C. Yeah. In D.C. doing a show, and I get done, right? I was headlining, and then uh, some lady yells out from the audience, and she's like, are you going to do any dental jokes? He goes, why the hell would I do any dental jokes? Like, so he, why would I do that? So he did some, and he's like, that makes perfect sense. She thought that, that I was you, you, him, you yes. know. And um, I'm like, dude, we got to get on there and just clear it up once and for all. Right. I think that would be <laughs> awesome, though. But what do you Let's think? Have him on the podcast. That would be hilarious. That story by itself is hilarious. And it's 100% true. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I never even thought about asking him to be on the podcast. And he's, Ask him he, if he wants to be on here. Because he has one that's on, on the on the West with some uh, some pretty big time co comedians. Maybe he'll invite okay. us on there. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's it. We're, we're, um, we're, we're, we're going to get him on there. Make it happen. Okay. Make it happen. And I, I'm sure people have looked up his act. And he's a funny dude. But yeah. his, his language is a little bit more uh, more adult than, a little than, spicier. than mine. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And again, I'm not uh, a prude, but m my core has been around, you know. Right. The, 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 the and you want side. to appeal to everyone. Right. But yeah. if you work the late club, the late night, um, uh, then you have to, uh, you know, yeah. you, you got to do what you got to do. Hey, Thursday So can night you imagine being the lady in the audience just waiting for the dental jokes? And then it gets done and you're like, what, the dude, what just happened? Yeah. Where's the dental jokes? We lost the fish in the house. My son had what? the uh, my son had two uh, those those fighting fish. Oh yeah. But there was like a, there's a divider in the tank. Yes. Right? Yes. Well, yes. one of the ones, one of them, didn't make it, and I'm like, did he get a hold of them? What? He's like, no, man, he just 
it wasn't doing well. So, you know what happens though? If you leave them too long, like to where they can see each other all the time, they're always in that fight mode and it's too Um, high stress. That's like if we were always running, if we were always running from a bear, always, like at some point you would just drop dead. So like every time you went out to the driveway, there's a flipping bear by the mailbox, just like yes. just milling about. Yeah, but in their case, they literally, like, they're facing away from each other. All of a sudden, they turn around and bam, there's a bear. Every single time, like, okay, I'm going to turn around. Yeah, I, yeah, oh, that's it's still that's, there. <laughs> that's too stressful. I never thought about it, but all right. I feel yeah. like I'm, I'm making that up, but, you okay. know, they should have uh, uh, something that you can slide into a divider. So it like a black screen, a tinted screen or so something they don't so they see can't each other. see each other. Yeah, and then when you want to mess with them, you pull the screen out. There you go. Ah. You know, there you go. Yeah, ah. I, I saw a funny video. It was a black bear in the woods and they had a mirror, like one of those tall oh, like Walmart yeah. mirrors. Yeah, you know? full length mirror. And uh, he's walking and he sees it and he's like, whoa. He gets up on his hind legs and he kind of dips around the corner and he comes back around and he does like a little move and he smacks the mirror from behind. Like, where the hell did he go? You know, and, and I wonder what he was thinking. He's like, yo. And so that means one, they don't know that they look like bears. Yes. They don't know what they look like. Yes. Because he didn't recognize himself. Right. Right. And uh, two, he must believe in magic or something. Because, I mean, like, where yes. did the bear go? You know what I mean? Like, is this Gandalf in bear form? That was hilarious, though. But, um, but I wonder, like, when they go to, like, drink out of a lake or something like that, they could probably see at least a little bit of their reflection, you would think. I think so. You ever see yeah, birds fly into a window real. because they see the reflection? All the time, And they think man. it's another bird and, like, yo, get away from my nest and pow, pow. I was uh, at my old Stupid house. bird. Uh, the windows um, are right above the koi pond, and it was, um, we had quite a bit of snow. And I heard this bam, bam, like two bangs. And I was like, I went over to the window and there were two birds that fell into the snow. Like they're buried in the snow. And I was like, oh my God. So I grabbed a shoebox and I ran outside and I picked both of them up and I put them in there. One of them was like hobbling around. I think it was like a robin. Uh, And then one was a cardinal. One of them didn't make it. And then I was trying to like be nice to the other one. And it like tried to bite me. And I was like, okay, well, you look fine. You're going outside. Yeah. And he flew away. Oh, dumbass. Can you imagine? Oh, hitting, like flopping into the snow. Like they would have died. Well, one did. But anyway, I saved a life that day. I've saved a life a a few times. Like my little sister, she was choking on popcorn. She ran in from the kitchen to the living room. She kind of just fell onto her knees and like her face was turning blue. Oh, yeah. yeah, So I got behind her and I. Did the Heimlich maneuver, you know? I mean, we've had a couple dental emergencies. We just had one where a lady kind of passed out, or I thought she was having a seizure because she was kind of shaking and stuff. But that's you know. scary. Yeah, it's crazy. But that is why dental hygienists are trained for dental emergencies. There you go. Yes. You're not just cute and clean teeth, you know? <laughs> Save lives out here in these dental streets. Okay, uh, at least just clean teeth. We don't have to. You know, I I I don't want to be, um, in those in those stressful situations. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was yeah. in the Navy, I was a a, a field um, medical person. So like, yeah, you know, the Marines don't have medical people. So we would be in with them, like in the movies when they call it, ah, medic. Yeah. You know, that's medic. that's a, you yeah. know we come up, we try to patch them up and that type of thing. Again, this is I'm, and I was trained yeah. with technology that's over 30 years old at this time. I'm sure they have way cool yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The point is that the training they did for us was, uh, you know, with, you know, machine guns and stuff like that. And, and you just sort of try to simulate, you know, the stress yeah. of, of battle. Even though you know it's fake, it's still stressful, you know? Yes. And that's, that's a little bit too much stress. I don't want to be around that much stress. But I think I could handle it if, if it happened. But I wouldn't like it, if that makes any sense, you know? Right. Um, yeah. I, I, like, I, yeah, I don't like to be in those emergency situations. But some, some people like I, that stuff. They like yeah, the, the adrenaline. high adrenaline Ugh, type stuff. You can keep that, bro. I, I react well. Uh, to to emergencies, uh, but um, you know, 
I don't, I don't know where that comes from. Like I snap into action. You go call 911. You record blood pressure, blah, 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 you know. Well, somebody's got to take control. And, and most people are, are, are waiting to see, should I do something? And, yeah. you know, again, I don't want to get in a dark situation, but somebody's got to make a decision and, 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 and move. You mm-hmm. have to go towards danger yeah. sometimes and uh, to, to get out. Yeah. All what right. do you think? I think we're good. Shut her down, 190. 190. Yes. Target. Yes. We're going to have to do something like kick ASS uh, for episode 200. Yeah. Yeah. It'll so if, you, if no peppers. You, yeah. yeah. If you guys uh, suggest something and um, that we do on the podcast or um, eat something. I don't know. We should probably drink oh, something. Oh, gosh. We should probably. No, because then they're going to tell us to eat those live live octopus that the Japanese are where, wherever yeah. their legs are like trying to crawl out of your mouth mm-mm. while you're eating that them. Sounds... That's the kind of crap they would tell us to I do. choke on almonds. You think I'll, I would die trying to swallow <laughs> a live octopus, you know? Dead almonds almost kill me every time. A live octopus <laughs> is definitely going to take me out, bro. Uh, yes. I said we have a drink, man. I said we should have a little sip or something. You know, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, in a, you know, nothing yeah. crazy. No shots. We'll of figure it out. We got anything. some time. Yeah. That's yeah, like two and a half months away. A couple months away. So, yeah, that'll be fine. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done, guys. Life is good. Yep. Uh, enjoy yourselves and, uh, you know, go yep. floss yourselves. Yeah. Sure. As always, go floss yourselves. All right. Cool. <laughs> Later, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.